Hey, what's happening guys? A couple weeks ago I asked you to send me ideas for boards or uh, projects you're doing and I've got quite a few of them. So today we're going to take a look at some boards designed by a viewer named Scott Beasley. So Scott sent in a bunch of these boards. We have a uh, little NAND board, NAND board 1.1, whole bunches. Node MCU breakout board. Micro NAN. There's a uh, PIC 12F breakout board. All kinds of good stuff here. The one we're going to focus on today are these nano breakout boards he sent. A red one and a blue one. Oh, pretty nice the open hardware logo on them so let's uh let's put uh, one of these together just for funsies alright what'll it be red or blue They're the same version just different color boards let's do red so I've got a nano here you can see how that would uh fit in something like that but I am going to put them into these female header strips so that the nano is removable and we will also add some uh, some pin headers like this should I use male or female pin headers hmm you know what I've got are these rolled pin headers which are really nice just don't know if I have enough of them hmm let's start with the uh, the main headers for the board and we gotta get them cut so if we put that in there we can see whoops and see kind of how it fits and where we're going to have to cut it just be aware when you do this you're generally generally going to end up wasting one pin see how that one fell out that's kind of just what happens and there's really not too much you can do about it so we'll cut the other one too That one almost hit the camera. Now, how are we going to solder these in place so that everything fits properly? Well, the best way to do that, there's another pin that fell out. So remember I told you that would happen. Do we have enough pins or do we lose one? Oh, we lost one there. So that one is shot. Let's get this side on. And we'll put this one in here. We'll try and cut it again and hopefully we don't lose a pin this time. Yeah, what I was going to say is what you want to do is put the uh, put the board in the headers. and then solder them in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder one pin try and get that as perpendicular as I can. And I'm going to solder one down here I know you didn't see that. My camera work is atrocious. I'm sorry. Good. Then I'm just going to basically do like a little bit of a drag soldering technique. What the hell's on that? I 
was, but this isn't that stable. This is real simple to solder. You just want to make sure that your your joints are shiny and that they look like little mountains. If they're dull and they look like apples, you've got yourself a bad joint. We'll finish up this side real quick. And then when I go to do the other side, I'll try something a little different. I'm just going to put one joint up here. Now I should be able to remove that board. Does not want to play, does not want to cooperate. Anyway, what I'm going to do is add some flux. Clean my tip, retin it, and then I should be able to do a little bit of drag soldering like this. And what that flux does is it helps the solder flow only into the metal plated areas of the pins and the holes in the board so without even lifting up your soldering iron you can get everything soldered in quite nicely let's take a look at those joints Yep, so they look like little Hershey's Kisses or little mountains. They're shiny. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Okay, so I've got some little rolled pin headers here. I got them all cutting in there, but they're a little, a little floppy. And we want them to be as perpendicular as possible also when we put this together. So what I'm going to do... Hold these together. <laughs> Come in. And we'll put these pins in. Give me a second. Okay, those pins do not want to go in there. So hopefully some of these leftover rolled pins will fit in. Ah, right, there we go. So we'll do that, and that should help to hold them in a more steady position. Now let me get my real magic trick out. The piece of tape. Hold that in there. my soldering iron a little clean what I want to do is just solder this top row make sure everything is still sitting where I want then I'm going to solder the bottom row Now it's locked into place. The three pins held everything perpendicular and square to each other. If I can pull them out. And now I can solder the rest of that in nicely. You don't have to watch that. So that came out pretty nice. Everything seems to be square and perpendicular. Solder joints look good. Unfortunately, that right there is the end of my rolled pin headers. So the other side is going to have to be made with squares which ah, but what can you do all right those are cut i'm gonna do basically the same thing pin oops <laughs> jumped out pin them in place with some pins just 
so that they stay where I want them to. solder on there see you might think they're perpendicular but unless you actually look and check they could very well be not perpendicular sure still looking good yep all right i will solder the rest of these in and you don't have to watch all right so i got these in got those in let's put in these uh external power vcc and vn let's see how that goes so there she is all nice and put together although i hate having to use the two different types of pin headers but hey that's all i got and you can power it either through the mini USB or through the power pins here, which is what we're going to do. And what I like about a breakout board like this is you can just plug things directly in here. For instance, here is a white LED with a 330 ohm resistor soldered to the cathode. And we're going to plug that into the signal and the ground of digital pin 6 which is a PWM pin and then we're going to power it from the power supply which is outputting 7 volts and what we get I'm just running the fade sketch out of the examples As you can see that LED fading in and out. Works out really nice. Anything you want, you can just plug into those there. Now, just for fun, we can also connect up our oscilloscope probe to the ground. Always connect your ground first. And then to the signal pin. And come over here. and have a look and there you can see our PWM fading in and out pretty cool now another thing this would allow us to do is to add a capacitor so here is 100 microfarad capacitor which we can add between positive and negative and that will help us oh, we can get her in there it'll help us smooth some things out let's try it on the other side you might not notice it here but anything is wow we won't go in there there we go anything that's taken more power it'll help smooth it out so a nice little board next week you guys will get to see my arduino nano breakout board but i want to thank scott for sending this i think it's pretty cool i hope you guys think it's pretty cool maybe leave a message down below for scott if you're interested in getting one of these boards i don't know if he makes them available or not but uh we'll find out all right if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe Big thanks to all the patrons, big thanks to you guys for watching, and big thanks to Scott for sending this in. That's it. I'm out. Peace.